previously. Let's do this, let's bring out the Frost Legion. Boop. Oh yeah, of course we have to wait for them to approach. It says they're approaching from the east, but they tend to come either way. The one thing I wish they would change about these invasions is I wish they would be focused on attacking your base, but they're not. They're focused on attacking your original spawn point. I'm just lucky that my original spawn point is where I built my base. So if, it, if I'd built this base somewhere else, they wouldn't come to it. They'd come to this exact spot, even though there'd be nothing here. So I'm hoping in the future they change that. Maybe they haven't, I don't know. But yeah, I'm hoping in the future they change it so they will attack your base. I'm hoping they come up with more invasion types. I think there's one or two more in the new update. But I'm hoping for a lot more. The Frost Legion have been defeated, so that means the final wave is now on its way and is currently dying. Now, as you can see, they kept throwing snow blocks around, which is what I mentioned, that they like to leave their own blocks lying around, which sucks, because it means I have to tidy up. And as you can see, it kind of screwed up my traps down here, because they prevented themselves from landing on these pressure plates, because they put blocks over them, so they weren't setting off any of these traps. Now also, for some reason, change the orientation of this switch. If I put it back down, look. You see how it lays down for some reason? Strange. Anyway, give me that back. And then in this side, we'll pick up these. And we've made a lot out of that in terms of snow. <laughs> in terms of cash, we made six gold. But we made nearly a thousand blocks of snow. Yeah. Right, we'll close up all the gaping security risks we left here, look. And shut this one down too. And then we'll mine up this. Oops. Best put that back, actually. Probably need that. Now, I think in terms of snow, we are full. So I don't think we can add any. How about in our excess chest? We have a lot of snow. We have a lot of snow. We don't need that. We'll sell it, I guess. Water leaf. Water leaf. What do we do? Are we full on? I have a feeling we're full on water leaf, but... Ah, we've got a new stack of it going. Uh, blah, 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 blue. Right, let's head over to... Ah, there's some snow in here, look. How did I not see this? You know, we're probably going to be finding snow for days when we go around. There'll be stuff everywhere that we keep missing. We want to head over to our underwater base. Quickly plop away some of these things. Now what I will show you is over here in not this chest but this chest look I've been storing some of the things that don't stack very high but we need a lot of eventually so rotten chunks, lenses, tissue samples and tattered cloth which we have so much of I need to move more of it over to be honest. Let's get rid of that and then was that all we came for? Two potions we can drop those in here like that. I think that's all we need to be here for. So let's go home. We have some dirt which we can get rid of. We don't need that anymore. Wires. We still need ammo. Right. Ammo into ammo chest. We're getting so many things. Look. So many. Not many need steaks to be honest. I guess you're supposed to buy them, aren't you? Oh, slime. Slime. We didn't get rid of the slime. Not too bad. Now we've still got a bit of night time left, so let's craft up another item that is on my list. And for this one, we need, this might sound familiar, but trust me, it's different, a balloon and a cloud in a bottle. So now you may know you can put a cloud in a balloon and 
so on and so forth to make the bundle of balloons. But what we're doing now is we're actually going to try and find a whoopee cushion, which used to be mega mega rare, but they're not so much anymore. And head up here, and at the tinker's table, we can actually combine these two into an item, and then the item with the balloon to make another item. So the whoopee cushion and the cloud in a balloon, cloud in a bottle, can make a fart in a jar. So that's the cloud in a bottle and the whoopee cushion. So let's make a fart in a jar. And you know what, let's equip that instead of our wings and I can show it off exactly what it does. So we've got side, we go... It's quite powerful actually. I thought for certain, for certain, that would make a fighting sound, but it doesn't. Oh well. We'll leave a green gaseous vapour behind. Does it damage? No. That'd be cool if it did like a bit of poison damage on it. Right, let's get into here and let's stick it in a balloon. So let's make... No? Am I doing this wrong? What am I... Oh, I've got it equipped, that's why. I'm an idiot. Head over here. We can now put that in a balloon to make a fart in a balloon. And that should be automatically equipped. So, same deal. Now here's the thing though. This actually does stack with the bundle of balloons because it's technically a different type of balloon. I can't get down here for the life of me. There we go. So we take those out. Let's equip them in place of this. Why not? Let's get out of here. So we can go regular sand, a cloud, fat, and a red thing. Why oh, is it red? That's a lot of different jumping delius <laughs> there. The red one alarms me. The red one panics me. I don't know what's wrong with his rectum to be able to produce that kind of coloured gas. What am I looking for? Balloons! Away! Right, that's all of this done. Should we go check on our tree? That's kind of all we're waiting for now, isn't it? Get that tree grown and then instantly chop it down to make a stump. Now, I, you can actually make stumps yourself, so I could place wood down and it would just look like a wood block. But what we want to do is have a tree stump. I think that would be a lot cooler looking than a block of wood. And on the tree stump we can place the... Uh, whatever it's called. Switch. 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 Tree still doesn't grow. Damn you. Damn you. Okay, things to do. Well, I'm running out. Travelling merchant still hasn't shown his damn face. It has been so long. I think he's dead for good. I think Walter killed every variant of the travelling merchant and has done something. He's, he's put their heads on spikes to prevent any other travelling merchants for, from approaching this place. Because I haven't seen them in so long. He just does not want the, uh, the competition. So we did this, we did this. That leaves me two things and they're both in a different world. Uh, and then on this sticky note we have Travelling Merchant. Different... Oh, yeah, that is something we haven't done in a while. We did it at the beginning of the recording session, but let's go fight Plantera. Maybe get that axe. <laughs> Maybe. Probably not. Oh, well, it gives us something to do at least. And you know what? If we get this axe, I'm going to be stumped on ideas of things to do. The Plantera thing is the only thing that's tying these episodes together with uh, st stuff to do in the downtime between me thinking of things to do. Because it's always something that's there. Without it, there's no point fighting any bosses in terms of getting loot. Because we will have everything. Ah, here's a thing. Any on this side? No. Good. Good? I didn't mean good, but whatever. Let's do this. Plantera, bring your face out. Plantera? Terra's been defeated, we got the wasp gun. Okay. 
Fair enough. Get back out of here. Let's get back in here. Now, warp over to this one, and then this one. And, in fact, I'll have a quick look on this one, see if anything has grown here. And then what we'll do is... We'll go to the Plantera farm that we made. The other Plantera farm that we made. And see if anything's there. This place is a death trap just getting down here. So many... So many things trying to kill me. Okay, this is none on this surface. Let's go to the actual secondary Pantera farm. I never use it as much. Oh crap. Right, here we go. So let's if we stand here we should be able to check both let's say both all levels for a Plantera bulb. Look how much we dug out and I'm still not seeing a Plantera bulb anywhere around this area. And that doesn't make sense to me. There should be one. There's more than enough space for it to be here. Which implies there must be some around. Somewhere. To prevent it from spawning. The amount of time that I spent grinding out the Chaos Elementals to get the Rod of Discord. This place should be... Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness gracious. I need to get there before Walter kills him. Ugh, quickly! Quickly! Alright, I think it's probably over here. This is where he's been every time. No, where he Oh, he's over here. Okay. Hello there, Abraham. You have... Ultra Bright Torches. Those are something I've wanted from you. And I think that was it. I think I've had Pad Thai before. I think I've had Sake before. I'll buy some just in case. I'm pretty sure I do that. Give me that Pad Thai. I think that what we need from him is four. I think we need the four. Uh, Ultra White Torches! They can stack up to 99. These, are worth, these cost three silver each. Now, Ultra White Torches are, as they say, Ultra Bright. And... I'm going to buy a lot of them. Because why use regular torches if you can have ultra bright torches? I think these are even brighter than diamond torches. Which makes them well worth purchasing. Because to make a diamond torch, well, you need diamonds. Which is you know, not the easiest thing to get a hold of. Let's just arrange this slightly better so I can see just how much money I'm going through. 74 gold. I could work it out quite easily by 3 silver by 99 torches, but... That's not so bad. Okay, let's just fill up my inventory, really. Okay, that should do me on Ultra Bright Torches. I'm hoping that my the huge amount of custom I just provided this guy over here might entice him to come back tomorrow. And if he does, he can have more stuff to sell me, which would always be good. If he survives the night, of course. Uh, Walter is a very vicious person. We know all too well what he's capable of. So let's head down into the jungle. Let's look for some Plyon Terror Bulbs to fight. And hopefully all that money I just provided him is going to tempt him and all of his friends to come back, visit me again tomorrow. So I've stored them ultra bright torches in an assortment of chests because I don't really have a dedicated ultra bright torch chest. But it will do. For now. I don't think we're ever going to run out. <laughs> 